Welcome to the D20 Pro Simple and Interactive and Passive Fog of War. It can be kind of intimidating when you're actually dealing with fog of war, especially when you're first tackling it. That's why this video is going to go over what the difference is between passive and interactive maps. Now, in order to access the fog of war, you need to go into the D20. You have to left click on the D20 Pro icon and you go down to draw tools. As you can see here, we have three line items. We have a mask, a door, and a wall. And they're also if you look over here in this type field, it actually tells you that. If you click on here, it'll tell you what the difference is. For right now, we want to keep that to a door. So when you're dealing with these masks and as well as the fog of war, the best thing to do is actually have a player side screen. So that way that you know when you're drawing out these things, you can actually see what's going on here on the player side because I've missed like little areas where the masks didn't overlap, there was other things going on. So just keep that in mind whenever you're doing Fog of War that you want to keep an eye on what the players can see. Because I've done masks before and then all of a sudden the players get in and go like, uh, I can actually see past this or I can see this. And I'm like, oh, so I had to go back in and fix it. That's why it's always good to actually proof your own work when you're while you're working, uh, while you're doing it. So now uh, there are the masks here we have the mask that's inside of here, we have the wall that goes around it, and we also have a door. Now, the cool thing about a door is that it will block out light that will try to pierce into a mask. If you didn't have this door here and you had a light source that was right here, it would actually pierce inside of this mask here and you would be able to see inside of it. So what happens is that you can actually click on this active and inactive, we're gonna uncheck it, and you'll notice that this light right here actually this got dark this is supposed to be the opposite way around but here we'll go right there now oh i had it right to begin with so there you go oh oh i know why ha i got it so the reason why is because i have it set to interactive so when it's interactive it actually needs to have a light pushed onto it in order for it to be shown to the player if it's there's no light hitting it then they're not going to see that door so watch now that i've made it passive you can actually see the door now. I know it's not much of a door. It's supposed to be like a, a beaded curtain. So that's why it was kind of different. But you'll notice that if I turn the mask, which is the inside here, to passive, the player still can't see in here because I have not made it active. So the moment I make it active, you can actually see inside of here and you do not need a light source to get in there. And the reason why you want to use a wall is so that way the light is contained within this border here. So that's why it's always important to use masks, doors, and walls. So this is a tutorial about simple and passive and interactive maps.